Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video is all about the interview, so let's get to it. So today's video, we're running a different format. We've got a special guest that I'm gonna introduce in a minute. He's world famous, if not just locally famous, and that's here in Southeast Queensland. He comes to all the go-kart tracks, takes videos, photos, commentary, Yes, that's right. It's Kev the Noise Davis. So come on in, Kev. Hey. I am at the House of Power at last. <laughs> I feel like I've made it. I feel you like have. You I, have. I think I'm. Uh, this is this is me. I've, I've finally gotten to the pinnacle oh. of the karting motorsport fraternity. Oh well, uh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> You've got, so, you got so much gear in here. We do have a lot of gear. You what know, a, uh, what, what, what do they call that? All the gear. Engines. All the gear. <laughs> <laughs> All the gear with no idea. Yeah, that's no, right. stop it, stop it. <laughs> no, mate, that's an impressive workshop. I'm, I'm really liking it. So uh, thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks really for good, coming down. Really good to be here. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, talk all things karting. Well, and what's happening in Kev's world? Uh, well, actually, um, I'm recently um, sort of commissioned some new noise shirts because obviously doing that many tracks now, I've got wow. 11 tracks to put on them and I'm going I'm going to Victoria soon to do the RKA DPE oh, sponsored um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Victorian state championships. So I'm going down there to Geelong. Yeah, yeah, You've never yeah. been there. Obviously I've done the state titles recently and got to go up to Proserpine and see some crocodiles and some reef and stuff. Up there was fabulous, but the local tracks were so, so lucky. There's so much around here for yeah. carters and honestly, everything at the moment, and I've, I've not been in the, the heady days when there was lots of numbers, of, allegedly. I just think everything's so positive at the minute. Everyone's having such a blast. Yeah. And it's Billy Cup racing. Kids and dads, or adults, yeah. having a laugh, and, and I'm hopefully adding a little bit to that. So, Kim, tell us, how did you get started in karting here in Australia? Right. Uh, first of all, this question's been asked once by Alex Gardner, believe it or not. Oh, As cool, part Alex. of his Motivate training. He interviewed oh, yeah. me. Yeah, sure. So we did a great little interview, great little driver, Alex. But um, it, it all started because back in the day, I had Steve Lamb, who was the, the canteen uh, convener well, at Warwick yeah. Car Club with his lovely white jewels. Oh, jewels and yeah. uh, as a customer of mine, reselling oil, he asked me to go and help out every now and then. So on a race day, I'd rock up at five o'clock with his dad. We were cooking eggs yeah, from yeah, five yeah, till yeah. six, oh, getting man. all the most, you know, the, the famous, uh, the, the Power Republic wrap, <laughs> <laughs> the Desi wrap. I try to chuck it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so we did all that, and then of course, sort of seven o'clock, I was out there taking photos, and me being a photographer at the time, oh. I was enjoying my photography, and I was just getting lots of photos of all the cards, and I load them all up onto Facebook and give them away for free. I wasn't ever yeah, charging yeah, yeah. for photographs; it was just a bit of fun, and I started doing that, and then one day, Peter Lane rocked yeah. up and said. Uh, our commentator's not turned up. Anybody want to go with a microphone? And I think uh, Michael Plant was there, and Lammy was there, and Peter Lane was old enough. And, and Steve says, Give him it, he'll do it, he's loud. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, no. I'm just uh, at, the time, the at the time, I wasn't really sure about this. And I grabbed the microphone and said, All right, I'll give it a go. But I don't know what the timing thing, I don't know what you've got. So they kind of showed me briefly what the timing was, and out I went, because I said, I don't want to do it here, I, I need to be away from people. So I went out, and I wasn't filming anything at the time, I was just going to be a bit commentating. So I went out in Chaos Corner. I think I remember. Stood there, and literally that Bellowing. day, I think I do. You told me this shit quiet. <laughs> Can you maybe build it up? <laughs> I took that on board. And I thought, no, go. bugger it, I'm not going to. <laughs> Screw that guy. <laughs> and I literally do it today like I did it then, but with a video camera in my yeah, hand yeah. and the thing tied around my neck now. So it kind of started from there, and I thought, geez, this, this, I, I think I sound quite good. But I wasn't interested in that. What I felt was, so when you add commentary to it, I think you can make a bit of a spectacle. And it doesn't have to be positions one, two, three, four racing. It can also be positions eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 racing. And there's a massive battle. And I'm video, luckily for me, I'm videoing whatever I call. So everyone gets excited about the fact that they just mentioned my kid's name or get talked about me. Even in the pie, there's an old bloke, the old blokes. They love the fact that they hear their name yeah, and yeah, get a bit yeah. of video. Whoa, look oh, at this. When they're we watching a, it back. We had a massive battle and they watched the, the video because I, I throw them all online. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of developed and, and gotten, I think, better. Not as good as it could be, but genuinely, I think we've added excitement and atmosphere to a race day. But yeah, so that's what it started from and it's been fun and it's still fun. And the, the buzz I get is from a seven year old to a 57 year old. 
liking the fact that I go up and interview them and talk to them and make them the star, not me. I, this is just an image and it's fun. And it means What's that everybody, everybody knows who I am. A brand, everybody knows who I am. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, right? That's cool. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah. And I'm loving it. All right, Kevy. So uh, you've been around the traps of like a couple of years now. What sort of pointers would you give to a new carter having seen what you've seen in the uh, local area here in southeast Queensland? Right. Um, regardless of what age they're starting at, first of all, because it, it can vary from age to age. But honestly, where I see most success for any kart racer coming into the sport is having some form of coaching. And, and I mean proper coaching. So the dads sure. can tell the kid uh, what to do, first of all. Because he, he's driven his VA Commodore, he thinks he can put a seven-year-old on the track and he's going to go around and he's going to be really good. There's no training in that in my mind for a kid to go out and track but there is experience of just going around and around so that's good for the first few months maybe. Laps, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and do that and have some fun so that's that's cool get that out of the way but then honestly if you want the kid if you want a, a, a teenager if you want an adult to progress in the sport properly i honestly believe they've got to have some form of coaching like yourself like will you all yeah. these kind of people that do it actually know exactly what it is to go around a track the fastest way possible and have racecraft. Sure. So to go into a corner and like I, I see it so often where they're coming around Patrizia's corner, for example, yeah, yeah, right sure. in front of me. Some are leaning that way, <laughs> and some are leaning that way, and some are bolt up right. And I'm thinking, I've been told plenty of times that to get that cart to jack and go around on one wheel so much faster, you need to just lift it slightly. You don't need to lean in, but you just need to lift it. So there's a technique Correct. that everybody needs to be taught is but it's not just that coaching is going to get that properly into them so after their thousand laps as you call it yes. get that out of the way get it done so you enjoy your karting you're fun you're not too slow yeah. having fun now you need coaching to fine tune the skills that you've got and then they'll start to get better and better more experienced and start to pick up where they can improve things so understeer oversteer they'll be able to feel it and know where it's about to give way and get the fastest corner speed they can without having been coached because they now know where the limit is. Coaching is the way to go and uh, that's my, my personal belief and where I see people jump from dads coaching kids and I'm not criticising any dads yes. but most <laughs> of them haven't driven a go-kart. Completely different lines, it completely is. different style, completely different everything. Different animal. So you, I don't think they can teach their kid everything they need to know to make them go faster. So often I see it where those kids have gotten quite good and they're now near the pointy end they jump in with a the coach, then they're winning. Yeah. And we've got lots of kids coming through that I can name so many that have, have, have done well in the, the clubs. Now suddenly they're doing well in the States and they've gone on to do really well in the nationals and they're still and kids are still progressing coming through. And there's names that are just jo popping up like blimey, look at him, he's he's now in the top three and they don't always win at Ipswich. Then they go to Kalura and to Wumber and, and they're winning. Yeah, it's like, whoa, look well, at this. I think it's a confidence thing because if you can go to your smaller club mates where there's eight to ten people. And you're normally in the 20 cart field, you normally come an eighth. You might be up in that second or third. And I really think with the reverse grid, now a lot of people aren't a huge fan because of the damage, there's a you know, the old crash here and there. Yeah, yeah. There's crashes all the time anyway. Yeah. Um, it gives a guy, oh, geez, I'm out front. Like it's a different feeling. Mm -hmm. When you're in front of the whole pack, you kind of think, oh, yeah, you know, you really get hung for that. Yeah, taste exactly. for that crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, that yeah. taste for that. Yeah. And then, you go, oh, all of a sudden, you're not that mid-pack or backpack running. You were a front pack. Yeah. Right? You were the leader of the race. Mm -hmm. So you start to have that confidence. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And now this is obviously a bit further down the, uh, the yeah. track. Yeah. But if you've got the confidence and you've got the hunger, then you go, oh, yeah, I want, to, I want that feeling again. And you'll push towards it yeah. and yeah. then you're in the game. Yeah, and on the flip, flight, flip side of that with the reverse grid, the people, that the good ones, that then start to the back, get overtaking practice, which you need. If you're going to be a good driver, race you, you've, all, race it, you've always got to have that overtaking skill yes. set, like finely tuned. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to bump it into people and it's going to be bashing and crashing. And, and it's a dichotomy because you can't <coughs> uh, just hammer it, I'm the best go-kart driver and yeah. they'll get out of my way because yeah. you'll cause a crash. Mm. So you've got to have a little bit of patience, yeah. but you can't be too patient because mm. you've got eight laps to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to be decisive and assertive without being overly aggressive. Yeah. But you can't be passive either, so yeah, yeah. it's a really big juggling yeah, act yeah, that we're good. Yeah. I love. But watching people develop that skill is actually that, that's the fun bit to me because you can tell those that are exactly as you just described. Then you watch them on the circuit, and I can call it three corners before they're about yeah, to do. Yeah, right. Like he's coming through. Yeah. He's lined him up two corners earlier, 
and whoever it is, I just know, Tommy the hitman, for example, he's coming up at Patrice's, everybody, oh, he's right, Patrice is going, here it comes, and he just goes through, because this guy knows he's coming, and whether you like it or not, racing room's given, and through he goes. It's a setup though, too, so <coughs> the, the good chess players, or the good uh, crafty go cards will set you up two to three before, because... It's a momentum game. We've all got the Common same speed, power. Exit speed, yeah. 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 So I've got to get a good run here. I've got to leave a meter there so I can break early here, get a better run off there, and when I go up to this point here, you're going. All right, Kevin, so we might wrap this up in a minute, but the last question for you is, would you feel comfortable substituting in for Martin Brundle at the F1 if they called you up and said, hey, Kev, MB's out, you're in? I, I don't know why they haven't called me yet. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they haven't I'll, been watching our videos. I'll be, I'll be serious for a minute about commentary. Um, my, my style is to take it up a decibel level or two <laughs> when I commentate. <laughs> because I, 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 I feel that that sounds exciting. Now, yes. I don't honestly believe that my style would work for 200 laps of any racing. Right. So, so V8 and Formula 1, where it's such a long race, I think they've got the format right because they talk technical, they talk about sure. team environment, what's going on in the pits and so on and so forth. If you had somebody screaming in the background, hey, you're not the end, go through, go through, you can only do that for several laps. So one last question. Kev, tell us what do you see about this area specifically about why I can't serve here? Well, let's, let's, let's first of all look at what we've got in southeast Queensland. We're very blessed. Uh, to have many clubs in the local area. Now, first of all, you've got those that are kind of on the periphery, Bundaberg, pretty, pretty close, but, but people have to drive four hours to come down to this neck of the woods. But then you've got a, a, a lot of clubs which are much closer than that. So if you put a pin right in the middle, the Ipswich Kart Club has got everybody round the periphery going to that club, and they're getting 150 to 200 carters. Every race meet, I think it's fabulous, it's massive. Everyone loves big fields. There's a minimum of 20 in almost every class. It's just great. That's really cool. Then you look at the granite belt, as I call it, so out towards Toowoomba, and Toowoomba is also right smack bang in the middle, and that's got uh, Warwick going to it, it's got Dolby going to it, it's three people going to it. Yes. So everyone can roll to that one too. And those two clubs are getting in excess of 120 people every, every time, and going great guns. Then you get those that are on the outsides, so your Kalula, your Warwick, your Dolby, they're all great Grifton. clubs, Grifton, Grafton, Lismore, they're all great clubs and they're all getting in excess of 50 up to 100 every race meeting yeah, yeah, yeah. and having cracking racing and the facilities are getting better and better and that's what I think people who are into kart racing want to see, they want to see a progressive club and so it's a pleasure to go there, yeah, yeah, people yeah. like to go there and then they can have their fun yeah. and their fun is go-kart racing and it's generally lads and dads or older fellas who are just still having fun in the sport and you know getting their adrenaline rush on the weekend in the yeah, go-kart racing. with their mates. So I, yeah, with their mates. So I think we're just lucky that we've got so much in our neck of the woods where they get to, cho to choose where they're going to go to. So you look at Ipswich or even Toowoomba, and when you get a, oh, well over 100 people at those clubs, very, very competitive. If you want to go and win there, you've got to be yeah. one of the best, and then you're probably going to be one of the best in the country if you're really mastering those. And then you look at the, the guys and girls that then go and race at Warwick, that go and race at Dolby, Grafton, um, Lismore, Kalula, and slightly smaller fields. But if they win there, then they get the confidence to go and win at the bigger ones. Yes. So it's a progression for everybody. For sure. And I just think we're so lucky that we've got all these clubs who've got great presidents, who've got an eye for making the sport better, and they've got a feel for making it progressive and, and improving all the facilities. And they're all talking about it all the time. And just making the sport a fun activity to be a part of. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And I'm, I'm, hopefully, I can add to that as well, and, and just make it bloody good fun. Yeah, and it, and it is generally good fun. I don't see anybody visible coming and saying, "Oi, Davis, I'm fed up of you. Go away." Yeah, I just see happy people saying, "Morning, Kev. How yeah. you going? We're here to have fun again. Let's have, go have a good day. day. Let's yeah. have a blast." Yeah. All right, Kev. So thanks, Heath. We're going to wrap this up. We've all got work to do. Uh, thanks, Heath, for coming in. Cool. Thank you. Thanks Legend. for inviting me. Love yeah, it. You're yeah. welcome. If you are finally made it what, to the House of Power. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you can. I am. We are at Power Republic. Kev, are you on Instagram and Facebook as yeah, well? Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Kev the Noise Davis. Kev yeah, the yeah. Noise Davis. We're going to put the link in the uh, description below. <laughs> I just want to get that link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've it's seen it, but I've never caught it. <laughs> uh, thanks to everyone that's been asking questions on Patreon. 
YouTube community, go to our website www.powerpublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt or a hat or a Rotax Max racing engine. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Ciao.